This isn't just YouTube, it's Blux. Real, raw, and ridiculously fun. Get ready for a Blux experience. Smash subscribe. Love ya. Liam Payne used to be a loved member of the biggest band in the world, but after a string of controversy over the last few years, everyone hates him. So here are five reasons why everyone hates Liam Payne. First is that this month, Liam was exposed for cheating on his fiance, who he's been with for four years, with an Instagram model. A fan account exposed him, posting a photo with him and his new girl, and his fiance commented and asked the fans to please stop posting because it's hard enough to be cheated on, she didn't want to see it. Second is his homophobic past when a song both ways disrespected and fetishized bisexual women, implying that women can choose their sexuality so he can watch and be pleasured. And when he said he wouldn't want his kid wearing something that Harry Styles wear because it's too feminine. Third is disrespecting the fuck out of Justin Bieber when a fan was comparing them and he asked, well, how many times have I been arrested long after that happened and saying he could beat Justin in a boxing match because Justin isn't on his level. Before I say the last two, make sure to follow so you finally know that all these hated celebrities are so hated and request who you want to see next. Fourth is when he disrespected the fuck out of Zayn Malik on a podcast. He said that Zayn is not a respectable man because of what happened with Gigi and her mom and hitting her and he went on probation. And he brought up Zayn's personal childhood trauma with his parents that Zayn tries so hard to keep private just so he can get attention and make Zayn look bad. Fifth is when he absolutely dragged and trashed One Direction on the podcast saying which members of the band he used to fight and threaten and saying that the whole band was made around him because Simon Cowell made it around his face and that he was the front man. But what shocked everyone is when he said he outsold the rest of the band with his solo career, which is just delusion. Y'all don't even know what happens behind closed doors or in private. Ever since we broke up, he messages me. Oh, it's always from different phone numbers too. So I never know where it's going to come from. He'll create new iCloud accounts to iMessage me. It's always a damn new iCloud account. I'm like, every time I see one pop up on my phone, I'm like, here we go again. Messaging my friends. Not only was he messaging them, I found out later while we were together so they could go over to his house, apparently. He's the one that is constantly doing weird And also, might I add, oh, the reason I he has all these people on his damn Snapchat, which he has for years, apparently, that he messages or whatever. And he says that he preys on One Direction fans because they will always be loyal to him and they won't tell on him. Is that normal behavior to you? Is this, but I'm I'm crazy for making a five second TikTok about something that he brought to the internet. I always felt like it was a manipulation tactic to keep me, I don't know, it's kind of complicated, but I always felt like it was so that I could continue to feel bad for him. And because he would always message me, um, ever since we broke up, like, oh, I'm not well. I'm, he would always play with death and be like, well, mm -hmm. I'm going to die. I'm not doing well. And there was one time I tried to get him help. And then he was like, not taking it. He would text my mom. I'm not doing well. Have Maya contact me because I wouldn't respond. And it's just always the same cycle. Ugh. And every time that, like, for example, when I announced my book, he did the same thing. He called my mom. I, I, I think I'm not, I'm not going to be around much longer. And oh my god <laughs> and i don't play with death so i'm like if you say this i'm gonna try and help you no matter what you've done and i think he took advantage of my family's kindness and i was like if you want to go back to rehab i'll help you even though you know whatever and um not that i ever wanted to be back with him but he's still somebody's child he's somebody's brother like if that were my brother I, you know i would want someone to help him too and yeah. so um but i always just in the end i felt like it was a manipulation and I'm like, especially after everything you've done, I've told you to leave me alone. As of like recent events that have happened, I can't speak on legally, but like, it's just gotten so much worse. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I always just felt really bad. Um, and I always just felt like he, cause he would always say, sorry, this is such a long answer. It's just like, no, no, no you're good. But he would always just say, I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I can't live with myself, but then it's continuing to like try and traumatize me. Yeah. Um, and so I always just felt like it was just like a whole manipulation to maybe keep me from not saying anything or keep me on his good side in a way. So, or keep yeah. you at like an arm's length. Kind yeah. Of um, yeah. Yeah. So I was a One Direction fan. Liam was my favorite. He knew that. He, he messaged me on Instagram. And at first I was like, oh my God, he's messaging me on Instagram. Like, this is so cool. Like, what, how is this happening? And then it turned into him asking me for explicit videos, explicit photos. And I would send them because I was like, it's Liam Payne. I'm going to send them. Like, this was me being delusional at age 24, 25. And this went on for two years. And this was during times where he was in relationships, having babies. 
he was messaging me. Like two weeks after his baby was born, he messaged me to send explicit photos. And just to clarify, he never gave me anything in return. And I kept this a secret for so long. Like I didn't tell anyone because I wanted him to like me. I wanted him to message me. I thought I was gonna be his next girlfriend, you know? Like the way that he would talk to me and manipulate me was like, I can't even explain it. Like I have tons of messages to show and like how he spoke to me. And I just wanted to, you know, come out and say that this happened to me and I took years to reflect on it and it was harassment. He was harassing me for videos and photos. If you like truthful news and wonderful facts, subscribe to Blux News. We're independent and place us somewhere between CNN and Fox. Simply the truth.